tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now, it's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then, let me know what you're podcasting all about. Yes, who are you going to call? Hey team, I'm Brian Rollins, and this is the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. We're closing out October and Halloween with the beloved comedy classic, Ghostbusters. 30 dorky, geeky, and nerdy questions to enjoy by yourself or with your friends at a Halloween party. If you need some rules, check out dorkygeekynerdy.com slash rules. Grab your proton pack and let's hit the road. The Dorky Round Number 1. Which TV series had its principals dress up as the Ghostbusters in 2017? Stranger Things Number 2. What was the title of the cartoon spin-off in the 1980s? The real Ghostbusters, due to licensing issues. Number three. What agency did Walter Peck work for? The Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA. Number four. What rapper had a cameo in Ghostbusters 2? Bobby Brown. He also performed the song On Our Own on the soundtrack. Number 5. What form does Gozer take in the final battle? The Stave Puffed Marshmallow Man. Number six. In what year did Ghostbusters premiere? 1984. Number seven. Who directed the 2016 reboot? Paul Fagg. Number 8. Who directed the first two Ghostbusters movies? Ivan Reitman. Number 9. 
What landmark did the Ghostbusters drive at the end of Ghostbusters 2? The Statue of Liberty. Number 10. Two of the original Ghostbusters and three from the reboot are alumni of what comedy show? Saturday Night Live. The Geeky Round. Number 1. What artist sued Ray Parker Jr. for plagiarism over the first film's theme song? Huey Lewis sued and won as the song was a ripoff of his hit, I Want a New Drug. Number 2. What flavor of high C was produced for years, long after the popularity of the movie had faded? Ecto Cooler. Number 3. What kind of vehicle was the Ecto-2? Only appearing in the cartoons, the Ecto-2 was an autogyro, or helicopter. Number 4. What are Egon Spengler's hobbies? He collects spores, molds, and fungi. Number five. What was Dana's occupation in the first movie? She was a cellist. Number six. What cultist decided that society was too sick to survive? Evo Shandor. Number 7. At the start of the movie, the team works for what academic institution? Columbia University. Number 8. Vankman is paraphrasing what ancient leader when he says, We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Julius Caesar. Vini, vidi, vici. Or, we came, we saw, we conquered. Number nine. The 2016 reboot was renamed what in the home release? Ghostbusters, answer the call. Number 10. Who is attached to direct a 2020 Ghostbusters movie? Jason Reitman, son of Ivan Reitman. The Nerdy Round Number 1. What comedian did Dan Aykroyd have in mind for Peter Venkman? John Belushi Number 2. What actor was originally intended to play Winston Zeddemore? Eddie Murphy. Number three. What actor was originally intended to play Louis Tully?
John Candy. Number 4. Which Ghostbuster did not appear in the first draft of the script? Egon Spengler. Number 5. What was the year, make, and model of the Ecto-1? It was a 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor. Number 6. What was the address of Dana and Lewis's building, a.k.a. Spook Central? Five fifty Central Park West. Number seven. Who composed the Ghostbusters score? Elmer Bernstein. Number eight. What building stood in for Ghostbusters headquarters? The Firehouse for Hook and Ladder, Company 8. Number 9. What was the name of Dana's son? Oscar. Number 10. While portrayed on film by Wilhelm von Homburg, who provided the voice of Vigo the Carpathian? Max von Sydow. And we're back to the firehouse for a long rest, a Twinkie, and an Ecto Cooler. How did you do? If you need help or just want more Ghostbusters goodness, check out our book of the week, Tobin's Spirit Guide an immersive in-world guide based on the fictional book mentioned in the 1984 Ghostbusters film. This book features the ghouls, specters, and supernatural occurrences that inspired the fictional tome that the original Ghostbusters consulted. You can pick this or any book of the week up at www.dorkygeekynerdy.com book. It helps keep us going week after week. Speaking of which, Here's your clue for next week. What ended on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918? A good solid history episode next week, so be sure to tune in. Thanks for being here for 40 episodes of Dorky, Geeky, and Nerdy. We're just getting started, and we're looking forward to even more great episodes in the future. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. Thanks for listening.